Hey everybody, Dave G, Electric Reviews, uh, electricreviews.com. Here we are, episode two on the Wismic Relo um, modifications. So what I have done, um, one viewer asked me to go ahead and paint this thing. So I took it apart and this is what we got. It's all sanded down, ready to go. I have a little um, bobby pin in there to hold it. And it was a little bit of a pain to take it apart. What you're going to end up with is your battery sled and a bunch of screws. And here's the board. So, um, just to kind of explain this a little bit, this is kind of tucked up in there and it fits into that, just slides in a little notch there. And you'll see this on the front and the battery sled. That red wire is coming through here, right there on the corner. If you can see that, you need to remove that wire and two lower ones, and that's it. And then there's uh, three gold screws, two at the top on the inside here. And then there's one grounding it right there. So that's it. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, then I recommend then you just tape it up and spray paint. But what I'm going to be doing is a little hydro dip. I've got four colors, red, yellow, black, and white. Um, just the cheapest cheapest shit paint I could find so we're gonna fill that bucket up with water put some spray paint in it and dip that fucker in there and see what she comes out like so let's go out to the shed so we got to do that outside of course and we'll get that done we'll see what it looks like see you in a minute all right so here we are in the shed yeah I've got uh, my four colors and I got my bucket. I have not filled that up with water. I'm still trying to decide whether I want lukewarm or ice cold water in there. Um, all right, as you can see, I got the uh, bucket of clean water. There's a mod all prepped and ready. What we're going to do is just spray colors in here and swirl it around. I've seen people do this on numerous videos. I thought it would be kind of cool.
Okay, here we go. It turned out a little muddy. Um, it's all right though. Okay, let's do it again. interesting I'm gonna let this hang and dry and we'll come back to it and uh, maybe a little light sanding and a nice polish on it should look all right all right so here we are it's been a day um, the paint turned out pretty good there's a few water spots as you can see but it's got a really cool uh, marbling effect and by water spots I mean like bubbles that were underneath the paint those eventually dried out uh, you can see up here at the top it's got a really really cool marbling effect um, you'll notice there I scraped out the inside where the 510 would be to avoid any paint on the um, getting in your addy threads uh, you can see the vent holes there pretty good and open um, you can see the vent holes there pretty good and open I'll show you later on here in a second what I used to get those out um, coated the whole thing pretty damn good plenty of paint on it that's for sure um, I did not sand or polish it yet here it is with the polished plates on it so eventually this is what it will look like completed um, which is honestly pretty cool I'd like to see a, a deeper contrast between the chrome and the painted parts maybe like a blue or a black would have been real cool um, like I noted earlier in the video I pretty much did this wrong as far as dipping it through the paint into the water I should have kept the spray paint going but now well it looks looks pretty good to me so here's the bottom vent holes and I'm just using a mechanical pencil and you don't fit perfectly I just shoved it in the holes and kinda of wiggled it around a little bit pop the paint out the uh, top screw holes with those Torx bits I actually use the Torx Torx screwdriver to um, dig those out. Yep. Yep. 
and there is the bottom hole torque screwdriver and just dug that paint out of there pretty easy pretty simple um, all the vent holes on the sides those I also use a torque screwdriver it fit in there perfectly dug it out real good nice and sharp um, ultimately it looks pretty good there's a grounding hole right there that you're gonna want to clean out uh, there's also one in the top corner there you'll want to clean those out other than that everybody thanks for watching give it a try leave a comment